Zero Sun, how are you? Hey, hey, how are you? Good, good, good. good. Mm-hmm. Headed down to South Beach. Right now it is around 8 o'clock. And um, meeting a couple of gentlemen. And uh, we're going to see what we can catch today. Right now it's Sunday. And uh, hopefully we'll get some fresh tuna here. What do you say? Yeah, uh, last time I couldn't get uh, down to, you know, <clears throat> yeah, uh, hopefully we can get us some uh, tuna. Yeah, some tuna, right? Mm. Some any, some anything. That's the thing about going out fishing on a boat. You never know what you're going to catch. Mm. So uh, hopefully we can catch something. And this is South Beach. So much has changed. This is Alton Road and uh, basically Dade Boulevard. If you guys look up there in the front there, just above that car, that's 1111 Lincoln Road. It's on the corner. That's a whole parking structure. And actually, a little bit of information. Right up there, you'll see a private condo. It's a one floor, it's got a swimming pool up there. You guys can look it up, 1111 Lincoln Road. And right below, it's a bunch of cars. People use it for parking. Um, but the person who built that sold it not too long ago. I forgot what it sold for, but he had that as a, like a little place he would have his residence. Pretty cool structure, no? You guys who can visit Miami, you know Alton Road. And then you got Lincoln Road here, which is basically just close up to pedestrians. There's the infamous Lincoln Road, and actually, Hero's first place that he worked at, one in Miami, was down there, Doraku, right there, just a block over. All right, beautiful morning in South Beach. Look at this. We're headed out. Hero Sun. Morning. Morning. Are we going to be catching yeah. something big? Yes. Hopefully, right? Yeah, hopefully. And I want to thank Captain here, Captain Roman. Morning. Now, so is it mate or Captain Assistant Aaron? Aaron. Okay. Gonna Thanks get for a lot to that. Yeah. This is my son, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice to meet you all. Thank you so much for taking us out. Looking forward to catching something big. What do you guys think we're going to catch today? Uh, lately, there's been a lot of Kubera snapper. Grouper season just opened up. Uh, we've okay. been hitting them really hard. Um, trigger fish are running really hard. Amazing for sashimi, pomodori, and Japanese. Um, we'll see what the ocean gives us. That's okay. The yeah, it's always, a, about it. it's always a gamble, right? You never know, but it's going to be a good time anyway. Yeah, we're going to be eating good, that's for sure. Sounds great. Nice. Hey, we can call the day, right? Nice. Make a little sashimi from here. Sashimi this one. You guys oh, want yeah? sashimi? <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun today, I can tell. We're going to shoot many Already fish. Already we got a fish. Yes. <laughs> We're going to shoot many fish that nobody would see. Maybe he's going to tell us they're amazing. And in Florida, this is like a bait fish. Nobody yeah, really no one needs it, right? When you're filleting them for bait, you know, you're like, man, meat looks good. good. Yeah. But... Hey. Always keep it alive because you don't know what's going to happen the rest of the day. Yeah, these are some, some good uh, snook bait. Good grouper. You got a hero? You think it's a grouper? Yeah. That's a grouper, yeah. How he's fighting for sure. Don't get let him the up shark, off the bottom. Don't let the shark don't get him. Don't let it. the shark get him. Oh, yeah. Hero, nice job, nice job. Let's take a look at this. This is a red, 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 grouper. red grouper. Look at this. Look how big, beautiful fish. Wow. That's a beautiful fish. You're lucky, Dave. You're lucky, Dave. How deep are we right now? We're at 103 feet right here. You can see it on the... Uh... 103 feet, and this man here wants to go diving. Down to the bottom, no? Yeah, I have a spot around here where I used to catch a lot of AJs with hook and line and big mutton snapper. I've never tried diving it, but we used to stick a lot of fish there. Maybe today we'll try to free dive it. Um, not feeling in the best shape because of my neck, but I think I can do it. Okay. 110? Well, I think the spot's at 110, though. 100 feet, I should realistically be using less because the deeper you go, um, the less buoyancy the air in your body has and the air in your fat. 
Um, so you really start sinking like a rock. Past 40 feet, you'll really start hitting your, uh, your fast descent without having to move. Hero's gonna let out 20 feet on this line. There's a light mullet at the end. And Aaron and Roman are gonna try and shoot the fish that's gonna follow it. Aaron just gave the, actually no, Roman just gave the thumbs up. All right, he's going for something. They're both going for something. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, the man has arrived. Look what we got here. Beautiful. Oh, nice job. He's probably just barely legal, I gotta measure. Okay. Nice, nice. Hero san, we're gonna eat tonight. Yeah. We're eating something, sashimi or something, but we gotta, like Aaron says, we gotta measure. What's the requirement? 18 inches for mutton snapper. 18 inches, yeah. Yeah, I did a it's really long close. dive. It was a mutton snapper. Some people call them mango snapper because of the colors. Okay. It's a clean shot, look at that, beautiful. Take a look at that. Nice, nice. Yeah, he's good. Okay, Ooh. there, we'll take a look, 18 inches. Nice. Whoa. We're good. Okay, nice. That way he's not beating himself up in the ice. Yeah. And uh, I'll probably add some salt water to the ice and make a little slush. So that way he stays really cold. All right, what a great day, guys. Hero san, you did a great job. Aaron, thank you so much. And also, Roman, what a great day. Let me tell you, I uh, caught so many things and uh, very sushi worthy. We can't wait to try, right, Hero? It's going to be a very good afternoon. So Next, uh, next chapter is dealing with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Dealing with that storm going in and then all this bumpy traffic going on here. This is South Florida living. We are back from yeah, the boat. Yes, we are back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the next day because the weather was so bad just today. Mm. And uh, this fish is actually one day old, but very, very fresh. Let's show everyone what we got. Mun snapper, right below it is actually... The is mullet you, fish. Yeah, the mullet. Uh, actually, we was using for the bait. Right. Caught that the and very first. This one, I forgot the name of that. Also, we are using for the bait. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, it looks like a sayori. <laughs> Could it be? Maybe it that's looks what like it is. a good to eat for yeah. curry or something, you know. Even this fish too. In Japan, we eat them for the you know sashimi. Right. For it. So you guys will see the father and son team later. They're mm -hmm. on the way over here. We're gonna make something nice for them to try out. And uh, let's begin, Hero. Sure. Okay. So we're gonna start from the uh, this one. Okay. The big one. Let's do it. This mm -hmm. is a nice fish too. I'm gonna take in scale off. Okay. Okay. And let's show them where they speared it right over yeah, here. Yeah. Here. Aaron had a great shot. And, and then, why this is good? Because of not damage any damage. Exactly. In the right? This guy is super genius right. with that spear gun. Okay, Aaron. in the center you can see the little broad line in the, in the middle right yeah a little bit cut this one then I'm going to wash one more time okay next step I'm gonna make fillet okay first I'm gonna do from the head to going to the right hand side and then stomach gonna come in your side right so I'll stop like that. you see the center bone here all the way until the center, you cut it, okay? That's right. And then next one is the back side, from the tail to all the way on the head side, like that. 
don't go deep on one, one time little by little right because this way the yeah. meat and then the highest the yield of meat because if not you lose a lot of meat to the bone yeah and the second time you can feel it you can feel the bone yeah. the center bone right top of the knife you hit into the center bone you can feel it okay like mm -hmm. this yeah yeah like that and now now from here to here there's a rib rib cage in the bone right here you gotta cut off this one 45 angle and the cut off this one okay and then and then meters already should be separated already on the other tail that's it nice tailor wow and lost nothing on the bone All right okay so now we're gonna do other side first i'm gonna start from the head to all the way in the tail side Go a little bit fast. Second one. Put a little bit more deeper. Like that. And this side. And the tail. Two. This way. Coming over here. Then from here and to here, the leaf. We're gonna cut off this one. Okay. Well, that definitely the last move. You need a lot of experience to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Side and the stomach side, belly side. Okay. Now. Okay, make a sashimi like a usuzukuri style.
Okay, this is cut differently also, right? Yeah, a little bit different way. Okay. This is absolutely beautiful. You took one beautiful fish, mm. turned into the three different dishes. Yeah. Ususukuri, tempura, and nigiri sushi. I can't wait to try here. different way, right? Yep. If you guys like this video at home, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. And tell us which one would you like mm. to have first. No san, thank, thank you so much. Thank you much. See you soon. Now the tasting parts. Yes. Then now we have a special guest. Right. Before we get to the tasting, some very special guests. This is Roman. This is Aaron and Nancy. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys know from earlier in the video, these two gentlemen, look how nicely they cleaned up, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, the fishing clothes for once is a little Right. Different. Aaron, tell us about that fish because you're the one who was responsible that you actually went diving. How far did you go down? And um, the mutton was about 72 feet or 68. It was one of our shallower dives for the day. Um, I just 60, oh wait, hold on, 68 feet on one breath. Yeah. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. And you were underwater for how long, you think? Probably a minute 30. Not, not, it, wasn't <laughs> a, it was a decent dive, but um, That's unbelievable. 68 feet laid at the bottom. There was a little bit of a low relief natural bottom, and um, the mutton just swam right up to me. You know, normally, you tuck your gun in underneath you, and you just wait, throw up a little bit of sand. They'll get curious. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we get to enjoy some amazing food from Chef Hero. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, this is great. And uh, both of you actually dive pretty deep. We saw mm. like a hundred. You go over a hundred feet, right? And yeah, once. Yeah. Um, I think my deepest dive where I shot something was a hundred and seven, but one hundred and seven feet. Dive at one hundred and twenty as well. You guys got to stay tuned and watch what we have next. You guys brought us some really wonderful stuff. Yeah, we brought some uh, Spanish uh, painted lobsters. Um, they're normally in the roofs of caves and like. 70 to 80 feet of water unbelievable um they don't have a season which is really nice in south florida or florida lobster season normal spiny lobsters out of season for about four months okay and months you kind of miss that flavor and today we went out of our way and tried to get some of these yeah um, you guys yeah you guys gotta see them we're gonna show them in upcoming episode you've had this numerous times i'm sure she actually had this for lunch. I did the same fish for lunch today on the boat. Oh, so nice. She, of course, it didn't look as nice because I was using <laughs> my little, you know, fillet knife that I had on board. But we did a uh, mutton snapper and uh, Thai, which is porgy. Um, and this is one day. So I don't know how the meat is. I know right when it's off the boat, it's probably going to be very uh, spongy, maybe. Fish for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. What a life. I ate the whole week. Right? It's okay. I'm right. Amazing. Mm. Wow. A lot Trying different than lake like butter. Filleted. Please. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's one of the best pieces of fish I've ever eaten. I can eat this every day. Eaten. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that is such perfect texture. The rice, right? How's the rice? Mm. That's like the best sushi rice you can buy harvested in America. Okay, we gotta get the tempura out to you guys. Try that. Mm. That is so amazing. Tempura is gonna wow. be totally different texture. Yeah, right? To different texture. Here. How do you recommend we eat it, Chef? With what sauce? This one? The panzu is okay, just ponzu a little bit different. Ponzu okay, or straight. Wow, that's so amazing. I've got a little rice soft already. Kind of a fish so fry. Maybe you can feel more, mm -hmm. taste more like a fish. 
I need some of that at home. Mm. What do you think, Auntie? <laughs> very soft. Soft texture? Soft texture. Very, very, very soft. soft. Mm. Right. Mm. It's how most Florida people Excellent. do mm. mutton snapper as a, as a cooked fish mm -hmm. or ceviche. I don't know if I really see any Florida people doing um, mutton snapper sashimi yeah. or mm. sushi. Right. So that was nice to try it like that, you know? Amazing. So good. Well, thank you so much for, again, the great trip we had yesterday. Look uh, forward to more adventures with you guys. Thanks for bringing sure. this stuff over. And stay tuned, guys, for some really amazing more recipes and dishes. See you guys soon. Thank, thank you. you yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.